Audi's R8 gets sharper, smarter and faster in second generation form. Turning away from the tide towards turbocharging, it uses an orally magnificent normally aspirated 5.2 litre V10 and promises race bred but road ready four wheel drive performance able to justify its newfound supercar status. Rivals must take this car very seriously indeed. Time to drive it. Now that engine comes mated to seven speed S-Tronic auto transmission and is offered in two states of tune. There's 540 PS in standard form or 610 PS if you go for the V10 Plus variant that we're trying here. A car capable of 62 miles an hour from rest in just 3.2 seconds en route to 205 miles per hour. That torque travels to the tarmac via an updated quattro setup able to flash 100% of power to either axle instantly on demand. And as a result, traction levels are astonishingly high. The car feels agile too, although a slight vagueness in the steering masks some of the improvements that have been made. These are down to lighter weight and extra torsional rigidity. Plus, the car now benefits from a torque vectoring system that deals with tight turns at speed by dialing out understeer and channeling power to the wheels that can best use it. As usual with Audi, there's a drive select driving dynamic system so that you can tweak throttle response, steering, stability control thresholds and gear shift timings to suit the kind of progress that you want to make. It includes a special performance mode on this top version with graphics delivered by the customizable screen of the brilliant Audi virtual cockpit display that replaces the previous conventional instrument dials. The drive select setup can control the suspension too if, as we'd suggest, you find the extra for the Audi magnetic ride system. Tick the box for the sport exhaust option too, so you can better enjoy the melodic 5.2 litre V10 out back before you have to pay for its pleasures. Combined fuel economy sees this V10 Plus version deliver just 23 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and puts out 287 grams per kilometre of CO2. Visually, the R8 remains much as it was, a distinctive cocktail of low-slung curves and delightful design extravagance, uh, though the influential shape of the previous model is now expressed in a tauter, more technically precise way. As before, we're talking Ferrari, but with a German twist. Of course, as ever, what really matters is the stuff you can't see. Like its predecessor, this second generation R8 uses lightweight ASF, Audi space frame construction, shared as before with an equivalent model from the Volkswagen Group's Lamborghini brand, in this case the Huracan. This time round though, the ASF structure is fashioned not only from aluminium, but also from an even more advanced material, carbon fibre reinforced polymer. Now, that has not only helped make this car 32 kilograms lighter this time around, but also contributes to a 40% improvement in torsional rigidity. Getting in is something it's possible to manage in a more graceful manner than is the case with most models of this kind. And once inside, you're introduced to what Audi calls a luxury level racing atmosphere and an interior that remains an object lesson in how to package a two seat sports car. As before, one of the cockpit's key distinguishing features is what the stylists call the monoposto, a stylized large arc that encircles the driver's area of the cockpit, starting at the door and ending at the center tunnel. Uh, but if that's familiar, then there's also plenty that's different too. The changes beginning with this grippy, flat-bottomed R8 performance steering wheel. Extra round satellite buttons have been added to control engine startup, exhaust sound and driving dynamics, with an end result that's both pleasing and effective. As for the infotainment functionality, well, as with Ingolstadt's Humbler TT sports car, that has all been relocated to what we're supposed to call the Audi Virtual Cockpit, a 12.3-inch high-resolution instrument binnacle display that completely replaces the usual set of conventional dials. With the original R8, Audi set out to prove that it could build a supercar. Now it has. 
With this second generation version, the aim was twofold, to perfect the original package and then prove it capable of edging towards the more exclusive territory occupied by Lamborghini, McLaren and Ferrari. A step too far? It seems not. The four rings don't yet give this car the rarefied appeal of an Huracan or a 488 GTB, but in most meaningful respects, this Mark II model can match them car for car. Unlike its Italian rivals, it feels bulletproof. And unlike a Porsche 911 Turbo, it makes a six-figure statement. It's a very Audi supercar, and there's nothing quite like it.